Más de 500 bomberos luchan contra las llamas en el noreste de Grecia, donde los fuertes vientos y las altas temperaturas dificultan las labores de extinción. Efectivos de la República Checa, Bulgaria y Rumanía colaboran con las autoridades griegas. Los incendios ya han dejado varias víctimas mortales en la región, entre ellas los 18 migrantes ilegales que viajaban desde Turquía. Just a few kilometers north of Alexandrupoli, you can see how devastating the fire was. Here in this village, there are about 10 houses which have been burned to the ground. There is no way that the people can come back and live here because it's just unlivable. There is no windows left, no room, uh, roof left. And uh, you can see that uh, even though the, the fire has been put out, we're, we still have to wear masks because of all the the fumes in the air it's just so difficult to breathe and you can see in this way uh, over the hills and nothing has been left because of the fire and it seems like nothing could have stopped the fire because here it's very hot it's very dry and uh, it's windy at some moments which makes uh, you know all of these conditions make the, the flames even bigger and spread even easier and this is a situation like in 80 percent of the territory here in greece uh, because of the The wind, the fumes are spread throughout the country as far as 950 kilometers to the southwest, reaching some Italian islands, which it's very difficult to breathe. And some beach goers, when they go to the beach, when they lay, lay to sunbathe, when they stay up, they see ash coming from the, from the sky. And in this direction, over the hill in the mountains, is uh, the bodies where uh, 18 illegal immigrants were found dead. They were coming in through Turkey. They swam over the river. They came here. And you know, when immigrants come to Europe, they don't have any documents. They don't have any money. They don't have phones. So they were, they were not able to call anyone and ask for help. So they were buried alive. And a spokesperson from the fire brigade in Alexandrupoli says that this number could be even uh, greater. So they are still trying to extinguish the fire. We can hear helicopters up in the air Uh, they are trying to extinguish as much fire as possible, but we will stay on the ground and cover the, really this devastation, which has uh, covered more than 400,000 uh, 400, acres here in Greece.